Hey guys, welcome to this new video. So in this video, we are going to look at off break, off spin variations. All the variations, I'm going to make it in one video. So it might be a lengthy one. So just watch it according to what your preference is. So I'll, I'll be covering off break, top spin, dusra and arm ball in this itself. So let's go and bowl. First things first, it is again in pro control. So uh, you will have the option of flighting or going the flatter trajectory. This is flight where the ball will go slightly high up in the air and it will have the dip when it lands and there will be extra spin when you are bowling a flight delivery. Flat delivery or the bounce delivery, the bounce variation of it, it means that the trajectory of the ball will be flatter. So it will have a better pace at which you bowl and this acts as a good variation to the normal off spinner where you can try to decrease the amount of turn but increase the pace you want to get okay that is the base of this this you have in top spin as well same with dusra and down ball as well so every aspect of you know the bowling you do will have the flight and flat trajectory I'm going to use the term flat trajectory for uh, the bounce variation because bounce doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't bounce extra. If you want to bowl, bowl a bouncing delivery, it should be a top spin because the revolutions are forward and it'll, you will extract extra bounce from that. So that makes sense. But uh, the bounce as a variation term doesn't make sense to me. So I'm going to call it flight and flat trajectory. Okay. Alright, so in terms of variations with regards to the pro controls for off spin, the main variations are off break, top spin, dusra and arm ball. In this, two variations within that are the flighter trajectory and the flatter trajectory. Alright, this is available for all the variations. The bounce and the flight trajectory will be available. Now, in terms of how much you can vary within this uh, spin category is you can vary with the run up you take the wider run up the middle run up the closer run up same for both the sides are over the wicket and around the wicket so when you are bowling a certain trajectory try to adjust the line of the ball on release based on the angle you are creating all right from this angle you have to bowl the ball bit outside so that it has the you know room to turn and hit the stumps if you are aiming for the stump line so i will just show you the simple off break no variations nothing this is normal variation you can see the flight and the turn because it's a dusty pitch i have set up uh, don't look at the delivery speed now same thing but with halfway flight okay here i am again i'm going to hit it slightly outside and that's the turn you get because because Ashwin is very well skilled, you will get extra turn with him. So the turn depends on the skill of the player. And also the turn is dependent on with the spin control. What I'm saying is when you press the, you know, the length button, the spin control where you have to rotate 360 degrees pops up in that if you are getting yellow or green, it means that the amount of spin it will take will depend on the proper rotation. If it's like one complete rotation, it should come at green. If it's not, then it will stay at orange. If you have not used it at all, it will stay at red. That is how it works. All right, full flight now. The flight trajectory is always going to be about how much the ball loops up in the air and where it lands so the landing depends on where you are releasing the ball so for off spin if i want to go slightly like hit the off stump line say for example i will go see that i will go slightly outside so that the room for the ball to turn and hit the off stump happens so this is again something which will come with practice so do that a lot and i mean uh, if you really want to just bowl spin not bother with all these controls you can try the standard it's very ba you know pretty basic in that sense and uh, it works very well because uh, spin wise you don't have any much of a difference 
to the level you have with pro controls and standard controls so when it comes to pace pace has lot of variations in it so for pace pro controls make sense for spin i guess even standard would work fine but i am used to it so i am not changing it that's all now for the bounce trajectory which is the flatter trajectory if you bowl the bounce delivery the pace you bowl at will be higher the ball will be lot flatter and quicker that is the variation you get under the bounce category okay now if you bowl this you will see the ball has gone and has been bowled at a lot faster pace in comparison to the flight trajectory the flight will still be there to a level but you will see the variation in how much the flatter trajectory is bowled so the difference will definitely be there when you go and look at the big lines right now i'm bowling in the ground training so i can't look at all those uh, you know replays and stuff so when you are bowling try to look at the trajectory try to look at the values try to look at where you are trying to bowl where try to look at the strategy you are coming up for a field and all those things so that you have a strategy and you have uh, a line you want to bowl at so that you can practice according to that say if you want to bowl off spin but you don't want to hit the stumps you have to bowl it wider you get the point where the release matters because if you are going to hit slightly outside of slightly you know in variation then you will hit the leg stump if that is the line you are aiming for but if you want to hit it outside you have to push the release trigger slightly out see that so the amount of turn it gets calculate that the amount of uh, you know turn the pitch is getting calculate that the amount of skill the player has see that see to that and which run up you are taking if you are taking the middle run up it's going to spin extra if you are going to bowl the wider run up it's going to spin more towards the leg stump so controlling it outside off is going to be difficult it's going to be very easy for a batsman to play down the leg side because you are already coming at an angle so all these factors will come into play with regards to off spin all right so uh, off spin i think you have the idea everything is a variation little by little little by little vary the flight little by little vary the uh, flatter trajectory variation okay now coming on to top spin personally i prefer the closer trajectory the 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 run up closer run up uh, and in this top spin i always like to bowl it faster so that it it bounces extra so the bounce the spin spinner gets is also dependent on the height of the spinner so if she is someone who is not that tall then it might hit the stumps if he is tall like ashwin is then it is going over the stumps so if it is going over the stumps you have to hit it full so that you know the the height is ending up on the top of the stumps at the bales region okay so that let's see whether he it hits it she just going over now if you want to bowl top spin but you want to hit the stumps flatter trajectory use you have to use r1 which is the fullish length trigger okay fullish length trigger which is r2 then press full length now when you bowl normally it should hit the bales so it is slightly fuller within the full uh, length okay if you want to bowl it that way and you want to bowl it bit shorter in that full length you have to press l1 okay this is going to be slightly shorter so it's going to bounce over obviously all right this is the uh, l1 and r1 trigger same for off spin as well if you want to vary the see so you can vary the flight you can vary the flat trajectory you can vary the angles i have spoken about all those things so two length variations which are there in pro controls is l1 which is short trigger r1 which is full trigger so within the length if you want to bowl fullish in that length fullish of good length kind of a delivery you have to press 
R1 and bowl a good length and then go for your bowling. Okay. So that is how it works. If you are hitting the top of off or if it's going over the stumps and you want to push the delivery slightly further away so that it hits the stumps, you can use the foolish trigger. If you are bowling at a length where you want to bowl shorter in that you know length you are bowling at say good length and you want to bowl shorter of good length then you have to press the L1 this button all right so those are the things as far as top spin you know flighter trajectory flatter trajectory comes everything is similar to what I showed you you can see the flighter trajectory of top spin will have more bounce all right so if I bowl foolish full flighted top spin delivery it probably will spin above or just hit it like i said so the amount of spin you get the amount of revolutions you get it will vary according to how much you are able to rotate in the spin column if we, this one is green right so this will almost past the stumps it's like flicking the bill and going so you see the very little bit of difference in the length and how much it is rotating and how much it is spinning to hit the stumps and the impact it has on the stumps so all the things are variations basically so even in top spin same thing everything is a variation try to vary it and you will get an idea about how to bowl now coming on to dusra similar thing flighter one flatter one so it's, it's similar to leg spin it's just that it's gonna turn the other way uh, it in this game it typically turns like a leg spin which is not the case i would like it to be but it is what it is so as you can see even when i'm bowling way down the leg side see the amount of turn it takes so that will happen based on how much skill has been done for the dusra if you don't want the dusra to be like very exaggerated the way it is right now try to decrease the dusra skill for the people so that it works like a proper dusra where it will not you know uh, spin the other way as much as a leg spinner would do but it has the variation of turning the other way that's all the minimal turn you want you expect from a dusra can be done only when dusra skill is less which is not the case for Ashwin because he is highly skilled off spinner yes but nobody will, is gonna turn Dusra this much okay let's get that right and arm ball same thing flat and flat everything flighter trajectory flatter trajectory has an impact on how much the ball will turn how much the ball will dip how much uh, drift you will get everything will depend on the kind of delivery you bowl so arm ball bounce trajectory it's going to be flat so stump line so you can see the trajectory is very flat no flight in the air whatsoever so when you give flight trajectory you will get the extra flight and it's going to end up going like that all right got all the variations you have all these things you need to um, you know work on with the trajectory with the angles you create if you bowl around the wicket and you are bowling this angle then controlling the kind of spin you want controlling the line is all going to play a role in how well you are able to control the spin if you are bowling an off break with a flight you want to end up bowling it outside off so that you end up hitting the off stump line if you are bowling this line and you want to hit the middle stump or leg stump you have to hit it slightly on the off stump so that it impacts the middle stump if you want to hit the leg stump you have to bowl it slightly towards the stump line so that it hits almost the leg stump you get the idea right so it's like a very small flick of wrist on the release which will make the ball turn and you can see slight drift there and it turned down the leg side so variations are very little by little to every extent you bowl at and 
the control comes in on the release so release is very 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 important i have the practice so i can you know just bowl wherever i want to and which stumps i want to hit i can get myself to bowl that trajectory because i am used to it but you have to practice it's not like i am really good at the game and i am like you know i am like having a skill which you cannot attain at all it's not like that bowl more do it more often that you just have the muscle memory to you know just trust it and go along with it simple all right so i think i have covered everything for off break uh, i think it's it's probably a bigger size video so uh, just watch it and uh, tell me your thoughts uh, that is all for this video thanks a lot for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye